Hello, my name is Brad Bigelow, and I'm a proud member of the American Heart Association's executive leadership team and a heart attack survivor. I was a, a newly married um, executive for a startup company, and we were in the process of mergers and acquisitions. So it was very much high pace, high stress environment. It was all right during COVID. We were looking forward to starting a family and just really kind of taking our life to the next level and, and doing the best we could to enjoy a very weird scenario during the pandemic. So um, I would say everyone was kind of going through a weird time. I would probably say, unfortunately, I was a little bit defined by my job, <laughs> like most people are. Um, but as an entrepreneur, you know, there's a lot of creativity and excitement in building companies. I would say I was a pretty active person. So the Pacific Coast fires happened. I went to a wedding um, and it was an outdoor wedding, which is also during the fires. So I was outside for two and a half days, essentially working on the house and at the wedding. So I had chest pains, shortness of breath, all the typical things that you have when you're having a heart attack. Um, I didn't know it. I thought it was the Pacific Coast fires and I just had like black lung um, or something like that. I went three days with the chest pains and shortness of breath and I started losing a lot of energy. So I checked in to uh, the emergency department that next morning and they said, the good news is you don't have COVID because I thought it may be progressive COVID. Bad news is you're having a heart attack. And that was incredibly shocking to me. I was 43. I was more concerned about my wife and freaking her out. I called her from the back of the ambulance that she couldn't hear the sirens. I just said, hey, just meet me down there uh, and I'll be there in like 20 minutes. So I didn't want to freak her out because that'd be a hard thing to hear. I texted a client and just said, hey, I know we're supposed to be in a meeting in five minutes, but I'm in the back of an ambulance. My wife was really shocked, obviously very, very happy to see me. And, you know, my family was in the car from Bend on the way over and they were all very supportive, all very shocked. Everyone was very shocked. Well, I decided instead of being bad at everything, which I was at the time, I would be as good as I can at most things. So eating better, obviously, was one. Working out at least 30 minutes a day. I wish I could say I do that consistently every day, but I do as good a job as possible. Uh, stress management, I think is a big one for not just myself, but a lot of people in my shoes who are balancing career and, and family and life changes and, um, you know, trying to keep that hypertension down. I had nowhere to turn to that made sense to me. And so I turned to the AHA right away. Like I reached out to you guys and was searching for, I had questions, I was searching for answers, but more than that, I was searching for a community to talk to. Being part of the AHA has been amazing for the last two years. It feels like yesterday. I, I hope I've given back to your organization, to the AHA, as much as you guys have given to us.